What's going on everyone? Mike O back with one final video before the 2023 National. Well, that's not true. I'm sure I'll do some videos on the journey to the 2023 National, but just one last video at home showing off a couple pickups and just providing a few brief thoughts on the upcoming 2023 National. Listen, the National is always a great time. You've heard this time and time again. You've heard it on my channel for the last six, seven years um, consecutively. The National is awesome. Um, maybe it's not for everyone, and it's certainly not something that everyone can make the commitment to going and attending every year for various reasons, expenses, family obligations, work obligations. There's so many different factors as to why you might not be able to attend a national, but don't let anyone fool you into thinking the national isn't a great time and isn't worth doing at some point. Um, and again, maybe you can only go once every two years, once every five years, maybe just once ever, but it is a really fun event. It's a card show. It's a huge card show where you can just browse around and look at cards and have fun. Um, salivating at cards all day long, let alone the fact that you can pick up cards at any price range, um, whether it be, you know, expensive cards, you know, comma cards or $100 cards, wax, you know, 10 cent cards. There are cheap boxes and stuff. There are um, bargain boxes. So there's a ton of different things you can uh, accomplish at the show, whether it's looking for specific cards or, you know, just whatever you see whatever you run into that's looks fun looks like it'd be fun to add to the pc but hanging out with people is uh one of the main attractions as well it's awesome um just being surrounded by like-minded people for that four to five day stretch hanging out reconnecting with friends connecting with new people um looking uh, this is something that a lot of people look forward to of course you know every year so I'm excited. The journey will begin today. Today's Monday. I'm headed down to Maryland to uh, hang out with my brother for a few hours. And then Tuesday morning, we'll be uh, headed to Chicago via car with a fellow YouTuber, Big Scott 35 So I'm sure we'll do a few quick videos along the way. Our multi-state trek to Chicago, Rosemont, and the national which uh is gonna be awesome hanging out with a lot of people if you didn't get a chance check out the live stream over on big scott 35's channel i participated in the last night with uh the fellow housemates wesker griff eastern connecticut sports cards if you guys weren't aware um he's back on youtube been doing videos for the last month or two so check out his channel as well dave's midlife card crisis and of course, Scott as well, Wesker Griff, if I forgot to mention Ed, I don't know how I could forget to mention Ed. But uh, we all hung out for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes um, on the live and uh, you know, gave some of our thoughts. So I'm certainly looking forward to it. Uh, big weekend in baseball. You had the Hall of Fame inductions, Fred McGriff and Scott Rowland. So here's a sweet Scott Rowland, 95 Bowman's Best Blue Refractor Rookie in a mint nine. Actually bought this one on eBay. A few years ago, mislabeled. It wasn't labeled a refractor, and I think the guy sold it cheaper at the time. It, the card hadn't, you know, risen in price as much as is, but he didn't feel like getting it re-slabbed. Uh, so I guess that benefited me. And then here's a cool one. This is actually a childhood uh, collection one, um, and it received a gem mint ten, the blue chips finest embossed refractor, which. I would love to see Tops bring back the embossed refractors for uh, Finest Flashbacks in the future. That'd be amazing. So just wanted to show those off. Um, some pickups, not many. Some Phillies parallels that came in recently. It's a Richie Ashburn Gold Wave Refractor from Platinum Anniversary. That is serial numbered 50 out of 50. This one was posted on eBay. $2. $2 buy it now. $1 shipping. I was... Okay, click immediately. It's when you pay sticker price. Uh, that's a card that at auction definitely would have gone for $20. And if it was listed for 20 bucks, I might have just flat out hit buy it now. Maybe I would have tried to be cheap and sent an offer to get it for $5, you know, save some money. But the Ashburns in that, the low number ones, 50 or less, like they sell pretty well. So I was stunned at that. 
Here's a blue prism refractor of Bryce Harper. These are all platinum anniversary. Mini blue diamond. Some of these were from the same seller. Some were not. Like the Ashburn was separate. Here's a Kingery. This one was in a lot with some of the others. But the blue diamond, mini blue diamonds are numbered to 199 So I just pick up the Phillies whenever I run into them. Uh, specifically the bigger names. There are some complete oddball rookie guys that I will pick up if they're dirt cheap. But I won't pay more than a certain amount. This is the X-Fractor of Alec Bohm. X-Fractor of... Uh, Robin Roberts. This one, I don't really like the centering on it too much, but I got it with combined shipping. And then here's a few other Phillies parallels. Refractor, Bum and Chrome Refractor of Real Muto. That is numbered to 199. Steve Carlton, Blue Refractor. And then Aqua Refractor of Bryce Harper to 199. So those are the final pickups that came in before the National. We'll see what the National has in store. Uh, I don't have any personal, like, I don't have a list of cards. I'm like, I want to get this. I have to get this. That That's just not how I'm doing it this year. I'm just going in with an open mind and kind of see what happens. Yes, I'm going to target and look for and keep my eye out for pre-war Phillies. Um, you know, some vintage oddballs, even some current day oddball stuff. Uh, or rare parallels like that'll certainly catch my attention but I don't have um, a specific list previous years I was like all right I want to get the 50 Bowman Jackie Robinson oh I need this specific Philly for my run I need this or that um, this year I'm just kind of going and gonna try and combine it a little bit um, I absolutely I'd like to find something cool for the Phillies collection if I come home completely empty-handed, of course, I'll be a little disappointed, but I'm not going to force-feed anything. But I, I, I'm i sure I'll run into something, no doubt about it. So, obviously, I'm going to look for the Philly stuff, as I mentioned. Um, I also, you know, something might catch my eye. So, in terms of the collection, that's the type of stuff I'm looking for. Otherwise... You know, the final Saturday or Sunday, I'm definitely interested in potentially buying out some value boxes or if I find it across a big a deal where someone's blowing out a big box of slabs or, you know, you can negotiate some good deals, I'll definitely be interested in that. Wax-wise, if there's any blowout Sunday, definitely will keep my eye open for that, but I'm not going to force feed that. I might open a box of something new like Topps Chrome just for fun. That's certainly a possibility, but like I said, I'm going to the show to hang out with everyone, to have a good time. I'm bringing a few singles with me that maybe I can trade at trade night or sell to someone. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, bringing a couple things to get graded. Probably going to bring a few sealed wax boxes to uh, sell for spending money and otherwise looking for some stuff for the PC, looking for some stuff that maybe I can use to resell but nothing specific. I'm just uh, fired up. Wanted to get one more video out before I go, but I still have a lot to do. Have to uh, pack some eBay stuff that's due today before going on vacation mode. And uh, well, I guess it's time to pack my stuff anyway. We'll see you guys in Chicago. We'll see you here on the channel with some updates. Appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one. See ya. Oh, and Friday night, if you're in Chicago, Lowe's Hotel, 8 p.m., Filmington, myself, and a couple hundred other people. Should be a fun hangout. Hope to see you there. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the 2023 National. Will you be following along the journey from home? Will you be in Chicago? If so, what are you looking for? I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.